Hey, this is Mikey with another After Effects tutorial, and I want to show you how you can drastically change the way you create and distribute After Effects projects. You're going to want to see this. Trust me, it's really cool. So what I want to talk about is called Comp Code. Comp Code is a new tool by RenderTom, and it, what it is is the script that will take your whole composition and turn it into a JavaScript file. Really cool. Now, I'm sure you're familiar with like AE scripts. There's tons and tons of After Effects scripts on there that do all sorts of things. And what Comp Code does is it makes a really easy way for you to create scripts. You can take your entire composition, hit a button, turn it into a script. It's really cool. So this is the Comp Code interface. Really simple, the just two buttons and your settings. So all you have to do is take whatever composition you want to save. I actually have one here. It's fire. It's vector fire. It kind of loops. Really kind of cool. Say so that's something I want to save for later and I don't have to want to recreate it. Well, I can hit this comp code button. Boom, it'll build it and it'll create all of the code. You can see here it took just over two seconds. There's 350 lines of code and it did it all for you. How long would it take you to be able to write all this code yourself? I'm not very strong coder. Um, and Comp Code is something that really allows me to focus on the creative side of things and not on the coding side of things. And then this is something I can then distribute, give out to others, maybe sell to others, make a little money. I know everyone wants to make a little money. So then after you build the comp, you hit save, you save the code, and you have it now as a JavaScript. Now this is something I can recall at any time. Now what's beauty about uh, JavaScript um, code versus a preset. Now this is actually something I could do as a preset because it's all on a single layer. But something like this, I've got three different layers here. Two text layers and a background. I can't save this as a preset. Or if any of this was pre-comped, I couldn't save it as a preset. Because a preset only works on a single layer. With comp code, I can kind of basically save a preset that has multiple layers and recall it anytime I want to. Now, another cool feature is comp pack. What comp pack does is it can take all of these different JavaScript files that you've made and you can bundle them together into one script. So for instance, included with comp code is this demo toolkit. And as we look through this, you can see there's lots of different things in here. And this can really show you um, the power of comp code and all of the different things you can do. So let's just grab one of these and let's just double click on it. And it will build out this new composition. Look how complex that is. So if I go in here, you can see I've got pre-comps inside of pre-comps. Look at all these layers here. This is all automatically built using comp code. And then this script was automatically built using comp pack. You can see all of the different scripts you can launch from this one interface. And how that works is, let's say I've taken a few of my different um, scripts that I've made and I want to bundle them together to create a nice interface. And actually, I have done that. I'm going to be giving it away for free with this tutorial, so stick around and you can see more about that. But if I click on Compact, all you have to do, you go and fill in some information, your name, developer, and then there's a path to the folder. And what happens is whatever folder structure you have, that's going to be the structure of your UI. So you can have twirl down menus and all this stuff, and that's basically folders inside of folders. It builds out this UI based off of your folder structure. You can also bring in your own logo. See how this has comp code, and there's an overstate. If I click on it, it'll take me to a RenderTom website, and you can have an info button as well um, built in. Really kind of cool. Now what I've done is I've done this. I've gone through, 
I've taken a bunch of my presets that I give away and I've put them all together into one script. So I'm calling it Cinema Spice Tools and I just want to show you kind of what we have going on here. So first off, double click Vector Fire. All right, pretty cool. I've got this one called Arrow. And what this is, is I've got the start point and an end point. And it makes an arrow. Changes the thickness and the color. I've got the person preset. So say you need like the, the person bathroom sign, switch it from male to female. You can have stroke on it. And there's that. Flare Plus, which is the built-in lens flare into After Effects, but I've added some niceties to it to make it a little bit nicer. It's not gonna be as good as any of the third-party plugins you can buy but it's gonna look nicer than the built-in. Things like as it goes towards the center, you can see it kind of brightens up a little bit more uh, color fringing and things like that on it. We've got box type. And with box type, it actually prompts you to put in whatever type you want. So type cinema spice and it creates this boxed type. And then dust and scratches. Let's bring that to the top. And it creates nice and dust and scratches over top of your footage. And this is what's included in the Cinema Spice tools. Now one thing I did want to show you is with the box type, do you see how it, it generated, uh, it, it prompted you to enter type? And that's another thing that you can do with Compaq. If we come into the settings, you can see these prompts. You can prompt name, file, or text. So I prompted the text, and what you do with that is you just put this text colon in front of your... So for instance, if I were to come into the vector file, and let's put name colon in front of this, comp code, please enter the name, fire, fire. And as it builds it, you can see it built it down there, gave it the name Fire Fire, so it's naming the layer. You can also use these tokens or prompts to bring in a file. So for instance, maybe I have a template where I want uh, you know, a picture to kind of move in and animate. I can have it prompt a file, so every time I run it, you have to bring in, you know, you bring in a new file. So maybe it's something that I want to apply to different pictures. Um, or, they, or the end user has the option to put in whatever picture they want. I can prompt them to be able to import a file. And then, or the text like I did with the box type. Now there are some little caveats. Again, this is in all the information that's included with comp code. But some effects don't work, and it's not comp code's fault. It's just that there's not scripting access to those effects. And so these are going to be effects like, let me find some. Go to color correction, and we go to like curves. You can see I don't have access to all the individual data points, right? I just have this graphic interface for the curves. So that's something that we can't use in comp code. It's not going to be able to set that. Another one would be uh, like levels. Again, I can't keyframe any of this stuff. I can get to that, but nothing else. So levels isn't going to work good. But if you need something like levels, if we go to color correction, levels, and then the individual controls, well, we've got all of that controlled now, and this one does work with comp code. So there's just a handful of them. Just read through the literature that comes with comp code, or it's on the, um, the website. But mostly everything works. You know, the Puppet Tools doesn't work, and Roto Brush doesn't work. And that's really about all I can think of. So I know I've been kind of rambling on about this. I just want to show you all of the cool things that you can do with comp code. 
And again, I also wanted to show you all the things you can do with the Cinema Spice tools. Um, this was, again, built using comp code. So check out comp code. There's a link in the description. Make sure you click on it and go over to see all the stuff it can do. There's more information over on the site. Also, make sure you download the free script. It works with CS6 and above. So if you have any questions, please feel free to ask me. Just put them down in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.